G'day YouTube. This video will show you guys how to change the screen resolution in Raspberry Pi Desktop Edition. Now if you're anything like me, you're doing it in VirtualBox 2, so I might put that as a tag on the video. Now first of all, it might only be coming up with uh, a uh, VGA resolution of sorts. So what you do need to do is firstly uh, type in the following command in uh, Terminal, which is the xrandr command and hit enter and first of all you'll see all the list of resolutions that are available now this is uh, I guess one version of it if this doesn't work for you in the later part of the video I'll show you the rest but uh, as we can see I've got a nice and fresh uh, let's see here it is nice full high def resolution there so in order to get that going I need to put in the same command again do a dash uh, small s and type in 1920 by 1080 and this should hopefully work for me and here it is. It's actually running a little bit slow, but there we go. Great. Whoa, look at that. So that's how you do it, basically, guys. Now, if you guys are actually doing this through a virtual machine, which I'm guessing most of you probably are, if you're just testing out uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, the desktop edition, then what you would need to do with uh, VirtualBox is actually go to Devices, click on the Insert de uh, Guest Edition CD Image. Once that's open, you'd need to go to the, uh, the folder here, copy where the, uh, the CD-ROM location is and memory we need to type in a sudo command sh copy paste that uh, that link there that address of sorts and also we have to type in this as well so I'll just see if I can uh, copy paste that word there and go for it and hit enter now we'll install the guest uh, additions which will enable the moving across it will enable this information here because if you were to type that now and you're finding you don't have any of these listed then this is the way to go about it installing those guest editions as I've just mentioned there a moment ago so that's installing that's already installed of course once before so I don't really need to do it again but super quick video on that one guys hope you've enjoyed cheers